Hey friends, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. So, so far we have seen searching algorithm, sorting algorithm, and now we are going to move to a string algorithms. I mean, string manipulation algorithm. But before we move to string algorithms, I want to clear one basic concept on string, which is string memory allocation. Uh, because I have seen in so many interviews, so many companies are interested to ask a question around string memory allocation like how many object will create when you create a string in a java or uh, what is the heap memory what is the string constant pool so let's clear the basic concept of string in this video and then we will move to the strings string algorithms so let's start cool uh, so what is string in a java so not in a java in general like string is an object that represent a sequence of character right so string is an object but important thing is how do you create that object in java there are two ways to create a string object one is by new keyword and another is string literal as i mentioned string is a, a string is an object so obviously the object we can create using the new keyword but java gives some special attention to string because we more often need to create a string right so there is another way in a java to create a string which is string literal now we are going to see this both ways like how do you create a string with the new keyword and how do you create a string with the string literal this is the first way like uh, string s1 is equal to new string java right so what is this this uh, this is a way of creating a string object using the new keyword we have used this new new keyword so always remember this s1 is a reference variable and object is the java most of the time I have seen like people confuse like people say okay S1 is the object. No, S1 is the reference variable and object is the Java because you see the definition. String is an object that represent sequence of character. Now let's move to the important concept of memory allocation. If you run this line in an Eclipse or let's say how JVM treat this line string S1 is equal to new object, new string Java. So where exactly this object will create? you know jvm right java virtual memory but jvm has two part one is a stack memory and one another is a heap memory what for what we use the stack memory stack memory generally used for the execution of the pro program and the heap memory mostly used for the storage right jvm has this two part stack and heap heap so in in a stack it is just execution and in heap it it used for storage but in a heap memory there is one pool of memory we call it a string constant pool now very soon we are, we are going to see how we can use this string constant pool i'm going to explain the same okay come back to the same line where we create a string s1 is equal to new string java when we create when we execute this line what jvm will do jvm will create a new object of string into the heap memory you can see this is the heap memory and java has been created here and then it will create a reference variable which is for execution which will store into the stack memory and that reference variable will point to the point to the java right when we create this line but at the same time the same object will be created into the string constant pool because when you create a string using new keyword obviously it will going to create a new object into the heap memory but at the same time jvm look into the string constant pool to see whether the same string is already there into the string constant pool or not and if it is not there only in case if it is not there then only it will create a string in string pool string or string constant pool for future use okay so the question usually come in an interview like how many objects will be created you can see there are obviously two objects created one into the heap memory and another into the string constant pool because there was no object present in string constant pool with content java so that's why how many object will be created two object got it now let's move to the second concept string literal so what is string literal when we define a string in a double quote it's called a string literal so this is another way of creating string in a java but the memory storage concept will be different for when we create a string using new keyword and when we create a string using string literal now what will happen when we create a string with the string literal now here string you can see the string is a different so it will create a string 
in a string constant pool. So always remember when we create a string using string literal, it will going to create a string in string constant pool and it will reference variable obviously will be into the stack memory and it will point there. But now it will not create same string in a heap memory because we have created string in a way of using string literal right so that's why this uh, string literal present uh, in a java because every time if you create a string with the new keyword imagine like how many objects will be created so that will be again overhead to the memory so sometimes it's better to create object with the string literal right so now how many object will be created only one because you, you have seen the string object has only created in string constant pool let's say now i have again created string with the same content which is hello but the reference variable will be different what will happen now when you create a string with the same context and with the using string literal it will not create another string because jvm going to look into the string constant pool and it will see oh hello is already present so i don't need to create a new string but yeah user required to create a new string so it will just create a new reference variable and it will point to the existing string which is already present into the string constant pool so in that case how many object will be created zero because we haven't created any new string we just pointed to the existing string and we just created new reference variable right now let's see some corner cases like when we again create a string with the new keyword and you can see at very first when we have created string with the same content java with the new keyword we have created two object one into the heap memory i mean string has been stored in two ways one into the heap memory and one into the string constant pool but what will happen in the same session i will create another string with the same content but the reference variable will be the different obviously it's a new new keyword i have used then definitely it will create a new string into the heap memory because of it, we, we must have to create a new object. So it has created new string here. Now JVM will look into the SCP string constant pool to create another string with the same keyword Java. But this time it will find Java is already created. So Java will not. So it will not create a new string in a string constant pool. So this time only one object will be created so that's the different here is the same line but it has created two two objects because that time our string constant pool was empty there was no string called java but now in the second time in second iteration java is already present so in this case it will create only one object now let's move to another corner case which is now okay now i created string with the string constant uh, with string literal and the string content is a java now now you have seen this java was created in string constant pool when we created when we executed our first line but it has no reference point because java internally jvm internally has reference to this this object right so when we create another string object using string literal now this time it will create a reference variable and it will point to the this unreference string object which is java now this java which was created in very first line got the reference variable that's why i told like when we create the string using the new keyword it has created here and for future use the jvm create this java so what was the future use when we create a string in future with the string literal it will not going to create a new string but it, it is going to point to the same object right so it has created zero object here because java was already there so that's the basic concept of string memory allocation you always remember like uh, in java there are two ways to create a string which is string literal and string object uh, a new object so they, they because of we provide a special attention to the string we uh, used to more often we used to create need to create a string that's why there are two these two ways okay cool i hope uh, you understand this string memory allocation concept is quite simple uh, but the intention of this web uh, i mean video series is to focus on mostly data structure concept so now onwards we are going to see the a string manipulation algorithm in my next videos. Uh, if you really like this uh, series useful, please do subscribe, share the my channel so you will get the update of my next video. Thank you. Thank you for watching.